So, Lark Hill it is for this uh, two mile, two furlong handicap, 0 to 90. Chase number one is Alabama, two is Cookie Queen, three is Screamer, four is Brady Gamble, five is Lasiego, six up in smoke, six Mr. Miz, eight Pinkham, and nine is Comanche. So, nine here at Lark Hill, which is the biggest point to point course in the UK, just in case you didn't know that. So, I went for him to start, and they're away. Fair crowd here. I think it's one of the busiest point-to-point -point courses. Got a nice clubhouse there in the rear. I'm going to charge, charge a tenner to get in here. So it's a rather expensive little course to come and watch. But anyway, as a leader, word from us and into the first. Everybody takes that. Right at the back there is Comanche. He's already got himself rather detached. But it's Brady Gamble that's going to lead us. So through the first of the 15 fences. We've got Cookie Queen in second. Just sticking out the grey is Lasiego. We've got Pencom up in smoke. Mr. Miz, Screamer. And the one that's just at the rear there is Comanche. So it's Brady Gamble and Cookie Queen now. Neck and neck. Almost. And third is Lasiego. Already starting to get a little bit drawn out here. Only through a couple of fences here on the Salisbury Plain. Let's see Stonehenge. They take this big ditch. Oh, we've lost one there. Bad luck for Cookie Queen, Darren House. Horse just didn't, couldn't take that fence. It was rather a big one. They go over this plain one. And there's Comanche, and Comanche makes it too. So it's Brady Gamble that's got uh, a five to six lead all on its own. Oh, we've lost another one there. Mr. Miz goes. I think that's Doug Warren. Bad luck there, Doug. So we're already two down out of the nine. There's only seven left. So we've got a mile and a half left to travel here. And still nine fences to jump. So let's see how many we finish with. Now Brady Gamble takes the neck, takes it well. Let's do the rest as Comanche does right in the rear. So it's Brady Gamble that leads us as we go past the crowd. In the distance, I wonder if they pay £10 to stand over in the woods. Probably not. Um, as I think as Steve Ram mentioned, that's probably the pikey lot. Anyway, it's Brady Gamble that leads from Lasiego the Grey and Alabama. And then we've got Pencom, Screamer, up in smoke. And Comanche finally getting into screen. They have a little bit of ground as they take this plane, plane one, the seventh. Oh, it isn't Comanche, it's a loose horse. There's Comanche. Oh, what a dive she took in it. Oh, ben Daly would have been happy with that. So it's Brandy Gamble that still leads us by a couple from Lasiego the Grey. And then we've got Alabama. And then three together, a Pencom, Screamer, up in smoke. And we assume Comanche still, still in the race, but we can't see him. We take the eighth. Everybody jumps that. A really good jump there by Pencom. Managed to quickly jump himself into second place. But they're all pretty close to the, the remaining five that are chasing Brady Gamble. But Brady Gamble's been happily bowling along in front. So we've got a fair few fences to go and only six furlongs left to run. All over that. Let's see if we can see Comanche. There she he is, and he's over. So it's Brady Gamble, though his lead's been cut to two now by Pencom. Then we've got Screamer and Alabama under a little bit of pressure. They take this big ditch. Lasiego and up in smoke are chasing hard. There goes Comanche. But it's Brady Gamble that leads now. But his lead's down to just a couple as they approach this plain one. It's the 11th. Oh, poor jump there by Screamer. We'll make him go backwards. Here comes Comanche, and Comanche makes it. So it's Brady Gamble that still leads us from Pencom now. Alabama up in smoke on the outside in the purple silks. Screamer trying to make up some ground again. We're through 12. We've only got three left to jump and three furlongs left to run. It's Brady Gamble. Led this since the beginning. Over this plain one. Gets over it well. Here comes the chase in Pencom. And also Screamer who's made up some really good ground after that poor jump. But it's Brady Gamble that's going to lead them into the 14th. They take this slight turn here. Brady Gamble, Pencom and Screamer neck and neck. Who's going to take the flight first? They all jump together. Pencom was up fast. But it's Brady Gamble that still leads. Brady Gamble, Screamer, Pencom. Pencom, Screamer just nosing ahead here as they take the last. They're all over it. A slow jump by Pencom. Screamer and Brady Gamble with the two that are looking. Here comes Pencom again. Brady Gamble kicks on. Brady Gamble just takes it on the line from Pencom and Screamer. And the last two are just Lasiago and Comanche. Comanche, I'm not sure what he was doing there. So let's just check. There's the road of the last together. Pencom was quite fast, but it's Brady Gamble from pillar to post win. Screamer was second. Pencom third. Um, fourth was well, wait for this. anyway Brady Gamble for Carl Arrogante good win there Carl well done two is Screamer Kevin Meanahan third was Pencom James Follis four up in smoke Martin Leadham five Alabama